Hey Frank, I'm giving you a shout out. Yeah buddy. Yep. Yeah. Hey welcome back to Junior Reviews. Today I am going to be doing a haul video that was a 40% off at Priceline which is my local drugstore as well as on ASOS so I decided to pick up some product. I also did another clean out of my current um, makeup collection so I've made rooms for some newer products that I've been wanting to try out. Now you'll see a theme in here which is probably lip products. I have a lot of lip products because I chucked out a lot of lip products as well. Um, I will probably do a video on all the products that I ended up chucking out as well just to talk to you about them and give a short sort of review on each of the products. Without any further ado, let me get started on this haul video. So, I'm going to get started on the biggest category first, which would be our lip products. I picked up two Rimmel, two Rimmel Provocalypse. I got one in the colour... I got Dare to Pink and Little Minx. So, they're two very different colours. This is more of a neutral, nudie... Um, pink color and this is a bright fuchsia color. I am in summer at the moment so I can rock a few more bold lips. I actually went into Priceline and I tried these on my hand and I was really really surprised by how long they lasted so that's why I decided to go back and pick two up. Then I picked up two Revlon Color Stay Moisture Stains. Now these are new and in Australia but I know they've been out in America for a while um, and I just really wanted to try them out because I do love Revlon's formula in terms of lip stuff. I do own a lot of Revlon lip stuff and I've heard lots of great reviews about these so I decided to pick two up. I picked up Milan Moment which is this orangey colour. I actually have it on right now and I also picked up Stockholm Chic which is a darker colour but still very very excited to try these two out. So far they've been pretty good, quite moisturising, good colour payoff. But I picked up a Maybelline New York, um, what are these called? The Elixir, that's what these are called here and I got it in the colour Vision in Violet. I actually picked this up after watching Bubs. Bubs put this in one of her favourites videos and actually I really wanted to try out purple and she said this is more of a subtler purple. Um, and yeah, I've always wanted to try out this formula as well, so I decided to venture out and be a little adventurous and pick up a bright purple, violet looking lip product. Next we have a Bourjois product. This is their Rouge Edition Velvet Matte Finish um, Lip Gloss, almost, I think. Yeah, it is in the colour 07 Nudist. This is a matte finish sort of glossy thing. I think you see a theme here. I'm buying a lot of glosses because, I don't know, I used to hate glosses, but now I think I'm kind of getting into it. Although a lot of the glosses that I buy tend to be a matte finish rather than a um, glossy finish, so that's a thing. But this is a really nice colour. I'm actually planning to do one of my friend's bridal makeup for her um, wedding, so I thought this would have been a good color for her. If not, I could just always use this anyways. It is a nice nudie um, sort of mauve color almost and I think it'll look nice on a lot of skin tones. The last lip product I have is this Rimmel London Apocalypse Lip Velvet in a matte finish. So I do have Apocalypse stuff. I have three of their colors but they are the glossy finish and I saw this on ASOS and I really wanted to try it out because I really really love the Apocalypse formula. It's moisturizing, it's long lasting and it's just really really great so I wanted to pick this one up and try it as well. This is in the color 405 Orangeology. I have two foundations. The first one is the CoverGirl True Blend Liquid Makeup in the color Light 7. Um, I actually tried this in the store and it had such great results. I you know, when it was a 40% off sale, I decided to go back and pick it up. The second foundation I picked up is a Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation in the color 201 Classic Beige. Now, I've wanted this since it came out, but I've always been hesitant to buy it only because I don't have room in my collection for more um, face makeup. But this time, because I cleaned everything out and it was on sale for 40% off, I decided to pick it up. So, hopefully this will be a good one. I have seen good reviews and bad reviews for it, so I guess it does go down to personal preference. Last face thing is this Fit, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 20 Sand. Now, a lot of YouTubers rave about this concealer as a really, really good concealer, and I'm currently on a hunt for a new concealer, not because my old one doesn't work, but rather I want to have a collection just in case um, 
they decide to discontinue a range for no apparent reasons. At least I have a backup of something else. So I decided to pick up this one and give it a try. I did try it on my hand and it looks quite promising. Next I have two eye-ish related things. First eyeliner is the L'Oreal Super Liner Ultra Precision in Black. Now I love this eyeliner. I just ran out of it. The other one dried up a little um, because I didn't put the cap on properly so it's my fault. Um, but I went and picked this one up. The other one is the Maybelline Brow Drama in Dark Brown Sculpting Brow Mascara. So I've always wanted to try out a brow mascara and this was the first one I saw and I thought I'd give it a go. It has a bit of a funky wand. Um, I don't know if you can see that but it's kind of like got a bally end. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to see how brow mascaras worked in general and if they do work in general. So I decided to pick this one up and give it a try. I have one miscellaneous sort of product and if you watch my Bella Boxes you know this because I talk about it a lot but finally we now have what not facial wipes in stock at Priceline um, what not actually creates kind of like adult baby wipes it sounds funny but um, the way it feels it feels like a baby wipe so it's really really soft and really really gentle on the skin but you can use it to remove your makeup and it's just a good formulation this one I got is for the oily slash sensitive skin which is my skin and it comes in this little travel pack or you can buy it in its normal little um, like the plasticky um, packs but I decided to buy this one because I know I'm gonna go back and buy more so keeping the case will be super super handy plus kind of weird but it has a mirror on the back so that's always handy you know in case you're on the go trying to get rid of your makeup and that is really it for this mini haul that I had of makeup products I am not going back to China anymore so I will be here and there will be videos up all through December and January and all that but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next Saturday for another video bye